Why you gotta be so indecisive? Why you gotta be, why you gotta be, yeah? I just wanna stop all the fighting. I just wanna stop all the fighting. And you don't know what you want. And you don't know what you're fighting for. And maybe you're the one. The only one that I Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to install this beautiful 4x4 curly closure wig. This wig is by Lovely Hair. On Instagram and on their website lovemehair.com I think you guys should check this out they're super affordable and um, this hair is just literally amazing like it literally feels so nice and soft like this is a really really good um, curly hair this is really really good like, and the lace is like is like really good as make sure you guys stay tuned keep watching to see how I you know got this install it literally took me 10 minutes maximum so if you're a beginner and you're looking for a bit that's easy this is it for you so I'm just showing you guys what the wig basically looks like coming fresh out the box, kind of, because I've already plucked it, I've bleached the knots, and I've already added some foundation to the lace. After spraying the got to be directly onto my skin, I just used the blow dryer to um to dry it out a little bit just before I put the lace onto my actual skin. So I did one layer of the got to be underneath my skin, then the rest of the um, got to be I used was on top of the lace. As you can see, I literally pulled out the front line of hair, pulled it forward so so it would give me the grip so, so the hair wouldn't move as I'm um, spraying the got to be on the lace so as you can see I'm literally just spraying got to be over the hairline and then I'm just using my hand just to kind of like pat it in just so I'm, I'm making sure it's going into the right areas and I'm continuing to like pull the, the front hairs down so it's ensuring that it's actually melted into my skin and it just allows me to grip the hair in the right place so I did do this method quite a few times so you'll see me do it again and again. It is quite repeated but this was just to ensure that the lace was just melting. I didn't need to do much as it is only a 4 by 4 closure. I don't call it confident. I just call it love. We don't pick up in the summer. I'm going in with the with a wax stick this is from Caracare and I'm just using this on the front part on the top part of my hair just to kind of smooth it out and to make it flat as I can because I know curly hair you allowed volume but I still do want the top part of my head just to be flat I don't want it to look too bulky at the top <laughs> Go, go, 
because don't forget to do the back part because I know if you're short like me, taller people can see, <laughs> sometimes I forget that, but yeah, don't forget to look at the back part and make sure there's no tracks being shown. Right now I'm literally just combing out the got to be that got onto the hairline just because sometimes it can get a bit hard. So I'm just combing it out to be a bit more smoother. So it's not as hard. I don't call it for him. So now I'm literally just cutting the baby hairs. is looking like it doesn't look too bad so far it's looking okay so now i'm cutting the lace right now so i'm cutting it so far it looks like i'm cutting it quite far but i do go back in and cut it a lot more closer to the hairline this is just like the first step and guys don't be <laughs> don't worry this is going to be fixed all this egg lace is going to be fixed and it's going to be melted that's just because it wasn't like it wasn't glued down or the got to be didn't get to that part but now I'm going in with the got to be again just to further like melt it and as you can see like the white parts are starting to disappear. So guys, girls, guys, everybody, they like if you feel like you've got white parts, just spray got to be over it and you'll be fine. <laughs> doing my baby hairs but I don't think I even kept these baby hairs in I was just kind of playing with it to see how I would like it but in the end I just went for a no baby hair look no baby hair look because I felt like it wasn't needed as it was literally a four by four closure and it was already curly so there's already a lot going on I didn't need extra hairs I went in again with the um, elastic band just to kind of make sure it's stuck onto my head honestly and just to make sure it's melting more and more and more because now that I've cut the lace it needs to really melt into my skin and as i was i just i just kind of do this just as a security and a safety while i'm doing something else just two in one kind of thing so as i'm like defining my curls it still melts at the same time but yeah so now i just went in with a lot of body um mousse and just kind of just put this on over my wig just to define the curls i didn't put any water because i didn't feel like it needed any the bottom half of my hair was very defined when the curls were there but the top half i just got a little bit like it lost its curl and just it was a bit combed out kind of thing so that's why i just went in with a lot of mousse because i didn't feel like i needed much water to define these curls just look at the difference already like look at it there's so much there's a big difference like from poofy to just smooth and sleek and like silky kind of thing because you can tell the difference in the curls it looks so much silkier much more moisturized <laughs> Hey guys, so this is what the hair looks like when it's like, it's like semi dry right now, it's like all the curls are really defined and stuff but if you touch it it's a bit like wet but it's not soaking wet but I really really like the curls of this, I like, really like the curl pattern of this hair and it doesn't like, I didn't really put much in it apart from me, I didn't even put any water, actually I did at the end and it just looks really like radiant it doesn't look dry so i really really good oh it's just a four by four closure so there's not much melting to do but i do feel like it did melt in general like there's not much to do but there is at the same time so and i feel like this wig literally takes especially because it's a curly wig it will take you about 10 minutes literally just i didn't even i literally just put it on my wig and sprayed it on top kind of thing and that's even quicker just did like three sprays tied a headband and just that's basically it just hot combed and stuff and that was basically it. i feel like this is such a easy wig especially if you're a beginner this is perfect for you because curly wigs are the best because there's not much maintenance to it apart from wetting it and added some mousse like i feel like this is just going to be perfect for you the curls are absolutely luscious and beautiful like i really like the length as well like if anything i might go in and cut a little bit just to make it a bit more blunt 
but other than that it's literally really really nice and it looks really nice dry and um wear like at the beginning you guys saw it dry but that was like really pee and combed out dry but like you can also make it look nice dry but like still defined curls i hope you guys enjoyed the process video make sure you guys check out love me hair on instagram and their website and this this is the four by four um curly um wig this comes with a like an actual elastic band inside so like it's really snug i feel like this is literally a glueless install like i feel like even if i didn't use got to be i definitely feel like i could wear this wig without spraying it down because the band really allows it to be tight on my head so it's almost naturally melting in its own way kind of thing so i feel like that really really helps and that's something that was really helpful and i even love just the accessories that it came with the with the wig like the the comb even came with christmas snails i know that's like I mean, they're on season, like, they, they know what they're doing, kind of thing. The packaging was literally amazing, and they get a bonus because it's purple. The packaging is purple, and that's my favourite colour, so. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.